Hello everyone, this is Bam Dele from the Larus Studios. You welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at the Android material design. We'll be looking basically at the tabs. So we call this application Material Tabs. Uh, Android material design has come to stay. This is the new age, uh, the new UI of the Android application. Uh, it's, it's gotten from the idea to develop a single underlying system that allows for a unified experience across platforms and device sizes. You no, know? mobile presets are fundamental, but touch, voice, mouse, and keyboard are all first-class input methods, which are taken into consideration in designing the material designs from the Google uh, products. All right, uh, I'll be taking you through the application on how to have. The material tabs uh, and how to set up the layout very very important of the material design so uh, going straight to my android studio which my which is my development environment uh, where i'm going to be coding this up i'm going to take a high level uh, rundown of how the application really is okay all right i'm in my layout um folder i'll be talking about the activity main which is the default activity of this application Okay, I would like my viewers to look at this very, very uh, precisely. Okay, uh, the first parent or uh, tag of this XML is Android Support Design Widget, you know, which has a coordinator layout. Okay, uh, and okay, that's fine. Okay, this particular uh, line of uh, or tag, you know. It's, uh, it's actually going to be the first line anyway. Okay, we have the layout with the layout height, which match parents uh, respectively. Uh, we have a child uh, tag, which is the Android support design widget app bar layout. You know, this is the for the app bar layout. That's the, the top bar of the application. So, this has the layout width and height. Also, match parent wrap content, you know. Uh, we have the theme which is calling from the style folder the theme overlay uh dot app compact i'll be talking about app compact here not activity you know in the material design so the uh the app compact is the dark uh, action bar okay followed it uh is the android support version 7 not version 4 that it used to be this is version 7 widget toolbar you know where we have the layout with height you know Calling on the attributes from the action bar size, the width is from the match parents. The background is calling from the color primary. We have the layer scroll flags and the pop up theme, which is also calling from the star uh, theme overlay app compact light. This time, not dark. Okay. Uh, to scroll this tab, we use the app tab mode, which is scrollable. Okay. The Android support design widget tab layout. Uh, is the tag that follows and we are going to have a sort of ID which has been fixed to it We call it tabs. We have the layout width, the layout height and also the tab gravity which is going to fill and the tab mode which is fixed. Okay, uh, there is the Android support version 4 view view page. Uh, you know, this is just a duplication to the version 4. Okay, it has an ID of view page, the layout width and height is match parent respectively while the layout behavior is calling on the design widget the app bar layout scrolling view okay these um chunk of xml code you know are very very important for the tab layout and also incorporating the action uh the the android material design in your application now we'll be talking about uh, we, we'll be talking about the fragment as well where we have the fragment layout xml Okay, this is a relative layout that has the width and height match parents, and there's a text view, you know, that followed immediately in the relative layout uh, tag, the layout width, height, you know, match parents as well, and the layout center vertical is true, while the center horizontal also is true. All right, that's the XML that we're going to need in this application. I have my drawable that your houses are uh, some uh, PNG files. Uh, some pictures, the analytics, the home PNG, and also the settings. Okay, because we're going to be talking about uh, uh, the tabs, you know, which is going to have an icon 
right uh, at the first tab, the second and the third. We're dealing with three tabs here. Okay, I'll move straight to my uh, Java classes where I'm going to talk about the fragments and also the main activity of the application. Okay, we first of all look at the main activity. Okay, we got to import the version 4 app fragment and also the fragment manager, the fragment, fragment pager adapter, the view pager, and the app compact activity. This is the version 7, you know. Okay, uh, the main activity extends app compact activity, whereby we have three fields the toolbar, the app private, the tab layout, and the view pager. Okay. Uh, the onCreate method, which is being overridden, okay, we're calling on the super onCreate, and we're going to set the content view to the layout activity main that we talked about earlier, and the toolbar, we're going to uh, like cast the toolbar to the view uh, based on the ID we picked from the activity main, the ID toolbar, and yeah, we're going to set a support action bar, okay, a support action bar to the toolbar, so there will be an action bar right there. Okay, now the view page is also uh, being uh, cast just like the way we did for the toolbar, and this is going to be on the view page ID. Now the, we have the we are going to initialize the view page with fragments, yeah, so that the pages we will, will be called with fragments. Okay, uh, we have the view page adapter uh, which is being instantiated with a new keyword, and we're passing the get support fragment manager uh, method. Okay, now the adapter, we're going to call on the add fragment, uh, whereby we're going to call on the first instance, which is the home fragment, the tab 1. We're going to do that for the tab 2 and also the tab 3, you know, which has the, the events and the settings. You know, this can, you can actually have a different name here. Okay, now we're going to set the adapter to the view page. Okay, the same thing goes to the tab layout, where we're going to call on the tab layout and cast it on to the ID of the tabs. Okay, we're going to be adding the view pager to the tab layout right here. Okay, whereby we call on the tab layout and we set up the with the view pager method, passing on the view pager as the parameter. You now to have icons along with text, but these icons will not change on selection of the tabs. So we use the selector for the icons to change. You know, we want to have icons along with the text. Okay. We're going to have the tab layout. We get the tab at zero. We set the icon appropriately to the drawable, which is up. The tab layout of the second one with the uh, identifier, which is these uh, integer numbers. We're going to set the icon calling on the drawable, which is the analytics. Okay. We're going to be using selector for icons. Now we're going to call on the, the third one. You know, uh, I always start from zero down to one two three so you shouldn't be confused when you see zero yeah okay we're gonna set icon as well okay so the drawable tab setting select to to customize the tab layout placing image forwardly now we have the class view pager adapter where we're going to extend fragment pager adapter no to customize the tab layout, placing the image on top of the text, you know, where we actually cast on the text view, and you can you can read through this uh, commented section to get some more functionality. Okay, now we call on the private finder, which is the list fragment, giving it m fragment list. We instantiate with a new keyword array list, which is generic, and also we do the same thing to the the title list as well. Now we call on the we have a view page adapter. Okay, passing on the fragment manager and the manager as the object, calling on the super class manager. Okay, we have the fragment get item method, which pass on which which uh, accept the position integer, which is the the zero, the one, the two. I mentioned the integer I mentioned. Now we're going to return m fragment list get position. Okay, we have the get count. Okay, we have a method called add fragment where we're going to pass in two parameters, the fragment and the title. You no, know? so with this, we're going to add uh, the fragment parameter passing to the to the m fragment list, and also we're going to add the title to the m fragment title list. Okay, that's fine. 
we're gonna we have the get page title which is going to pass passing the integer position and also we have an on create options menu we're going to get menu in later and we're going to call on the main menu you know just you know this is just the menu of the application where you can add a lot of things to the drop down menu of the uh menu menu button which is at the far right corner okay we have an option item selected too where you select one item what's going to happen you know we are going to undo action bar item clicks here so the action bar will automatically undo clicks on the home or button so long as you specify a parent activity in an android manifest you know you can specify a parent which is the home activity of the in the android manifest so this is going to actually undo the item selected okay no inspection you know just simplifiable if statement so if the id is is equals to the id action settings you know we, we have the action settings right set up you return true if not you return to the super on option item selected okay that's fine let's look at the my fragment which is actually going to handle the fragment of this application okay uh it actually bought some few things but we'll be going to that detail okay we have my fragment that extends fragment on create view you have the layout in later you have the container and the saved instance okay where we're going to set the fragment layout we talked about earlier uh to the view so with this we have a text view you no know, to get a text view or in the in the fragment layout and also we're going to set some messages to the text view where by return, returning the view itself the object view okay we have the my fragment which is the new instance of the string text whereby we instantiate the with a new keyword and also the bundle as well we instantiate it with a new bundle where we're going to put a string to the message you know msg or as that's the text they sent to each fragment and we're going to set the argument you know which is the uh fragment my fragment uh we set the argument based on the string you know being put in and we return f that is short and, and simple okay without much uh, ado let's look at the build grade so let's see some dependencies that were that is very important in this uh material tabs we have the support app compact very important version 7 you know and also the android support design which is this is the 20 uh 23.0.1 version okay i think it's fine so let me build this up and click on my run button and let's see it display in a journey motion emulator okay i'll then bring my journey motion to foreground okay right this is the material tabs you know just like we have uh in um whatsapp you know the whatsapp material design that i actually use material design most applications most android applications are new uh, they're moving their ui to the material you know that is where the a slick form of android uh, display is being done whereby you can have the same look and feel based on irrespective of the screen sizes either uh tab or mobile phones you know so let's get to check the second tab and the third tab okay i think this is very very understandable and simple to actually get yourself acclimatized with thank you very very much my good listener for hanging out with me i hope you understand one or two things and you can get my source code from the video of account where i shown on your screen there and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye